episode of Beers, Bourbon, Whiskey, man. Everybody loves BBW. Of course, man, we back with the same crew, man. I got my man Don still in the building. I'm still here. <laughs> Angry principal holding it down. What's up? Bo is in the building. I say. And of course, man, it's your boy Q Lewis holding it down live from the 48205, man. Let's get to it, dog. I'm still smoking the Ivos, which is uh, very deceiving. It's a great smoke, but it's a scary smoke because I've been inhaling it a couple of times. I may actually die on camera, but it's okay, though, because I, I love y'all and y'all love me. So if I die on camera, man, make sure that you uh, do support my cash app. And uh, <laughs> what's the shit they be doing for motherfuckers? Uh, uh, can't afford a oh, funeral and oh, shit. Oh, the GoFundMe. Go go yeah. <laughs> hey, look, though, real talk, though. Side note, man. We talking about whiskey and and bourbons and, and cigars, but man, get some life insurance for real. Like, quit playing. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to keep seeing people getting GoFundMe for they uh, you know, to bury their loved ones. All right, that was just a little note. Let's get to it, dog. So we uh, <laughs> we moving from America over to Canada, dog. So we doing some Canadian whiskey today, and it is Caribou Crossing, dog. If you see this bottle, it's a very luxurious bottle, and we've actually already. Had some, so you won't you won't be able to hear the cork this time. Well, let's see. <laughs> that just sound like I don't even know what that sounded like. What was that? I don't know. A little even, squeak out of it. A little squeak. I don't even know what that was. Dog. All right, so uh, yeah, we're moving over to uh, Canadian whiskey. <laughs> now this uh, this actual Canadian whiskey uh, is bottled uh, by Sazerac, right? So. Uh, we, I think a few of us have some experience with Sazerac. Have y'all had that before? Yeah. Um, how how is it? Because I've never actually had it. But um, when no. I when I went to uh to the store, um, dude was like telling me about. It. I guess it's one of those like really like I guess a lot of people like it. It's a hot commodity or something like like what is it exactly? All right, so Sazerac is a rye. Oh, okay, it's a rye. Okay, but you. Sazerac as a whole is the umbrella company. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. right. They went in and just start buying up people. Okay, and, and this is obviously brands. one that they bought. And so Sazerac rye is. Harder to find here. Okay. Uh, I've been able to find it in the last three weeks. Mm -hmm. I've seen it in a couple of places where I hadn't seen it in about a year. Okay. So uh, I, maybe I'm just at the wrong places and it's getting bought up so fast. <laughs> right. That I don't get to see it. But uh, side so you, you've had some? I, I have not cracked a bottle open yet. Gotcha. Okay. So, uh, but I do have a Sazerac ride. That's okay. You Have you had it? I've had it once before. Okay. Uh, it, it was a while. I was still in the Army. But, okay. uh I, honestly, I didn't know enough about bourbon at the time to, to make, make it. Yeah, I you got know. you. Yeah. Cause like, dude was making it like it was a, a hot commodity. Like this is the shit. Cause like he had some. Well, that's because rye is right now the hotter of the two spirits. Now I know you mentioned before that rye, rye was the original. Mm -hmm. Rye was your original whiskey. Yeah, and, and I so never even now, knew. It. Uh, it's, it's kind of making a, a comeback. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because a lot of your um, mixologists and your bartenders mm -hmm. want to use rye in the mixed drinks. Gotcha. So most okay. times when you get in a mixed drink, you're getting a rye instead yeah. of just a straight bourbon. Okay, I got you. That makes sense, though. All right, so look. So, again, we're moving over to Canada. Uh, my only experience with Canadian whiskey uh, is uh, Crown Royal. Well, I take that back. Uh, what did I have before? What was that? Royal Canadian. Was that what? Uh, Windsor I Canadian? I never touched it. Uh, Something like that. I only that. had the purple and black bag. So, so look, I'm going to I'm going to take the plastic bottle, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it does now. It does now. But back in the day, it was. But I'm gonna tell you how cheap this shit was, though. Like back in the day, a pint. I, I want to say it was Royal Canadian or either. I think it was Royal Canadian, but the a pint was like a dollar eighty five, bro. That's how cheap that shit is. You might so anyway, as well take some gasoline. No, nah, seriously, though. <laughs> or run in your tank. Yeah, <laughs> you know. Jeez. All right, so I like with this. I obviously I, I've had it before, so. But like just off of the smell, off of the nose, I think it's it's a uh, when I'm thinking about Crown Royal, then it's it's completely different. Like it's a softer scent though, so it's almost like like you can barely smell it. Like you gotta kind of put your whole nose in there. But um, it's like diet bourbon. That's what you know. What I mean? <laughs> it's like diet. Bourbon. I think that's the way. To, I think that's the way to put it. For real, like it's like bourbon without the bourbon. <laughs> like it's like it's bun without the bourbon. It's, it's bun. <laughs> Let's see what it tastes like, though. All right. Are you sure we, we drinking something? See? <laughs> There's nothing there. Dog, didn't I say that, though? Before we did this, I told you, like, dog, it tastes like water. Doesn't it taste like water? Seriously. I I'm, mean, I guess I'm getting a little bit of uh, some kind of It's a little bit of sweetness. Taste. Yeah, it's a little bit of sweetness. But, but there's nothing here. <laughs> I told you. Like, I thought y'all, man, look. Didn't I say that How before we started? 
so let's talk about it, right? So look <laughs> at the bottle again. Uh, you can raise the bottle a little bit for uh, for the people to see. Very beautifully constructed bottle, like reminiscent the, of Rock Hill Farms. Yeah, got the Blantons. You know, kind of yeah. kind of Blantons look on it. Mm -hmm. Um, so this bottle was sixty. I don't want to say maybe sixty two dollars, like sixty two ninety nine, something like that. And I really like in my soul feel like you are paying for the presentation. Now to have this bottle sitting on top of your bar. Lovely. It's a great it's a great conversation starter. <laughs> but once you crack the top not for sixty two dollars. Not for sixty two dollars is, is definitely not. And and genuinely before we started, I told y'all I was like, bro, it's tastes like water. I said that. And okay, you thought so I, I thought was playing. You, I thought you were playing. Bro, no. And I I'm will take you. a purple bag or a black bag. <laughs> Quickly. Crown Royal Black or the or regular Crown Royal. Quickly. I might even take a green bag over that. <laughs> Damn. Now that's saying a lot. I might even take yeah, a green I'm bag. Not going that far. You ain't going that <laughs> so if y'all if y'all not hip, then you know that the uh, that the proof hunter and the bourbon schnapps they never like flavored whiskeys and shit. So for him to say he'd take a green bag like that shit is yeah that shit just blew my mind. But Same. um I don't really know what to say about this shit. Like you can't I can't talk about a, a flavor profile for real. Other than I think what you said might be right. Maybe honey. Like it might be a honey taste. It's like it's a sweet taste, but it's definitely not. It's definitely not caramel or vanilla. It's not and those it's, two that I'm used to. It's not strong. It's real subtle. Very subtle. I would rather you go take get some tea, and <laughs> just you know put a little bit of honey in it. Call it a day. Man, I'm gonna tell you what it tastes like though. For real, it tastes like. It tastes like a drink been sitting on the counter for about two hours. With, open. Not with, open. The, not with the Star Wars. With, with, open. With, with, uh, with ice in it, though. And the ice has melted. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's good. So, <laughs> like, so the ice melted. So you don't really know if you're drinking water or, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I had a joke for that. I'm going to let that shit go because I'm. No, nah, fuck it. I'm going to say it. You might think you're drinking Flint water and shit. I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah it's too soon, man. It's too soon? Too soon. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I'm from Michigan. I think I get to say that shit. But anyway, it's like, am I drinking whiskey or Flint water? Like, which is, it? but it's a, uh, when you look at it, it's a, uh, I don't know it's what to say about color. it. It's got great color. It's got great color. Like, it, it's, it's even got a little bit of legs to it. You know what I'm saying? The like, marketing, the presentation are great. Oh, bro, the marketing is great. Like, I, like I'm supposed to be up in the again, I'll Antarctic, say this though. just uh, it, in the Arctic with my gun ready to hunt some caribou or some moose or something. <laughs> I, it caught my eye because of, cause of the big-ass moose and shit. It caught my eye and shit, right? And I was excited about it because the presentation is fucking, it's classy. It's classy as hell. But then, I ain't gonna lie, when Dog said $60, I was like, oh, shit. They even got the etching. Now, this yeah. is not... It's etched. It's, this etched. Is not, yes. it's not a label. Uh, label. This is That's etching etched. on the glass. So you are certainly paying for the presentation. And you you pay $60 for presentation, $2 for liquor. <laughs> $2? <laughs> No, I swear though, right? I want to say good things. I can't. I'm surprised. Imagine if man. you put ice in this. Oh, why? Hey, you why know, you... hey, you know how like when you buy when you buy like uh, Coke, Coca Cola, right? Not not Coke. <laughs> when you buy Coke from a fast food restaurant and you leave that little bit at the bottom, and then all the ice <laughs> melting, and you, and you suck it out the straw. That's what this tastes like. Nah, you laughing. Or it's snowing No outside. carbonation. No you know, carbonation. It's just, just stay flat. It's like, it's like, like, yeah, it's flat pop, bro. You know how you uh, have your mouth open when it's snowing and you're trying to catch a snow, snowflake and it's got just a little bit of taste to it? And you're Dog. like, ugh, this pollution. Bro. That's what this tastes like. Bro. This is not good. So, I mean. Can you take this back? Can you get your money back? I wish I could. So like, is it is it fair to say because it, it 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 doesn't really have a flavor profile or to like like taste like alcohol at all? Is it fair to say that it's smooth because of that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, like, is it fair to say it's that smooth like, like water? <laughs> and the cigar doesn't do anything for it either. Man, I haven't even help it at all. I'm gonna be honest with you, dog. I like this cigar, so I don't even want to. I only want to ruin it by smoking and drinking this. I was hoping to enhance it, maybe bring something out, and it's not happening. This is really bad. It's H two O, though. It's, yeah, it's, it's H two O. So, uh, yeah, this is gonna be a short show <laughs> because Caribou Crossing is definitely so. All right, so Sazerac is like like the the umbrella company, or whatever. And I'm hoping that this is not exemplary of what Sazerac is uh, providing. Because if it is, I will never purchase Sazerac. But it is no. Canadian whiskey, though. So it could be different. Like, I, I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't know. I don't like it. I, I really wanted to say good things about it. And 
as you can see, is a lot is a lot of it gone because uh, <laughs> like this is one of those drinks. Even though it, it costs sixty dollars, did y'all drink it or did it evaporate? No, <laughs> right, basically, right, H two O, right. <laughs> But really, like, I ain't even gonna lie to you. I, I had, like, it was some people over who don't really, like, drink a lot of whiskey. And I kind of wanted to get rid of it. So, we, we we drank it. You know what I'm saying? They thought everything was cool. Because, like, oh, like, they yeah. drinking whiskey. And shit. I, I keep my company bottles, too. No, that's yeah. exactly what the company <laughs> bottle, though. Because, yeah. you, know, you know me, like, let, let, let's be honest. Like, I had this bottle for probably about three months. Bottles don't last three months with me. <laughs> like, ever. <laughs> like, not, nothing. Anything you see here that's that's got anything in it is probably less than three weeks old. <laughs> like, for real. Like, nothing ever sits at my house this long. So, you can already tell that because I even left that sitting there. I kind of forgot I was here. Okay, so, just to mess with your mind for a second. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So, I did a quick little search on Sazerac as a company. Okay. And I told you that they have been, they're a large umbrella company that's been buying a bunch of people. Oh, God. They didn't buy something I like. They they bought your favorite. What? Buffalo Trace Distillery is a Sazerac company. Oh, you got to be kidding me. So, like I said, they're just buying up they just buying up shit. making mm-hmm. a large conglomerate. And, unfortunately, they bought the wrong one with this one. This is probably a hit in Canada. That maybe possibly. just came along with the deal. No, nah, that one you got a crown. <laughs> this right just came along with the, the deal. Your name later. <laughs> <laughs> This was the this was the uh, the six round draft pick you get with the other two first rounders. Yeah, like hey, we gonna throw this one again. Conditional seventh so. round pick, you know, <laughs> right. three years down the line. <laughs> All right, this was, yo, so, this shit is horrible though. But you say you use this as like your uh, giveaways. Yeah, it's kind of like it's the company whiskey. Like so you know what? Would that be a gateway? How do they enjoy it? You said they weren't uh, they, drinkers. You know what? I I think a, a lot of a lot of them were uh, cognac drinkers. Mm-hmm. So it's it's just different. You know what I'm saying? So anything that's different, it's just like, oh, this is different. But like somebody who drink whiskey, like this shit is horrible. And, and I only say that, I only say that because like a lot of people don't even like Crown Royal. I fucking love Crown Royal. And for me, Crown Royal is like Canadian whiskey standard for me. Like so, it's got to at least be that. If it's not that, like this is <laughs> this is bad, though. Like I, I want to say good things. Crown, I was, don't, Crown Royal gonna cost you what twenty six bucks? That's it, though. This is three times as much, and you can. Three times, you laughing, dog. What's, what's going on over here? What's I'm going on over here? Some of the dog? other companies that Sazerac owns, oh. and so we're looking at the old Montreal Distillery, which is a Canadian company. Gotcha. That may be where it's coming from. Okay. But then another company, uh, Barton. So if you ever had the old Barton, a very old Barton, mm-hmm. you've heard of them. 1792. Oh, also a not the 1792. So these are Sazerac companies. They just aren't necessary. Oh, Bowman. That's another yeah. uh, one. You're dealing with some serious brands of bourbon, John Paul Distillery. So they messed out with this one. Huh? Yeah, who's, who's this idea one, they, is this? They, they kind of this somebody cousin. Like they like, uh, could you throw mine in somebody there? Somebody try to take advantage of it. That's all. They, they try to take advantage of but the you situation. Know what? Don't take our word for it. Try it yourself for sixty two dollars. See, don't you be pissed? Like, no, I want to like my cigar, but I don't even want to waste it. Like, I'm really about to just wait until after I drink this, we gonna bust that new riff back out. <laughs> and then we go, we go get to our uh, our live presentation for, uh, yeah, we go we go move right along. So uh, <laughs> yeah. I don't even know what to say about this shit. Like, I don't... somebody missed the moose on this one. Missed <laughs> the moose. Did not, moose. Moose. <laughs> they they did not moose. shoot the caribou on this one. This is Duh, not good for sure. Um, so just for shits and giggles, man, what what would you give it between one and five? I wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't even Damn. raise my fist for this one, man. This is I didn't get a pinky finger. Yeah, I wouldn't even mix this because there's nothing there. Oh, it's, you can't mix this with nothing, like because for what? You might as well mix it with water. Right. <laughs> you can put this shit in a smoothie. <laughs> I, even then, you gonna think you're going straight? Oh, this is healthy. You not gonna taste anything? Duh. Like I'm not even sure if. Nah, this I'm is, not even sure. If, like I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be completely honest with you, dog. I'm not even sure if I'm not about to go pour this up. I was about to say the same thing. <laughs> I'm pouring it out. <laughs> and this is the very first episode where. Some shit was completely trash. Like we didn't have some stuff that was questionable. Know, it was yeah. questionable, but this, this, yeah, especially for for the price point, is 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 it's fucking unacceptable. Like I, this is what it is. It's unacceptable, dog. And I ain't gonna hold you up though. What's funny about it is it's even worse than the first time I had it though. Like I had already I had already warned y'all what it was. Yeah. Before we before we started drinking, and then now it's like it's even worse than before. So uh, yeah, Caribou Crossing getting like zero. And kind of, I want to kick dog ass at the uh, at the liquor store because he pumped it up. He like he like yeah, 
the uh, look at the bottom of the presentation, like only get three or four of these a year. Like he sold me on that There's shit. There's a though. reason why he sold me on that shit. He like, yeah, this is limited and all this. He got those three or four years ago. He had the three bottles. <laughs> I'm three pretty or four sure. Years ago. Yeah. That's all. yeah, I'm surprised he didn't have no dust on it. Shit. <laughs> anyway, man, we go. Uh, I ain't even gonna go around on this one, dog. We just <laughs> we gonna go ahead and move on and shit. Um, if again, if you've never had Caribou Crossing, Don't. um. I would say don't <laughs> don't do. It. But if you if you don't believe us, go ahead and shell out sixty two dollars. Nah, you need to believe us on this one. Take our word for it. <laughs> Screw yeah. that. Yeah, Move take our word for it. You but, can buy two bottles of uh, Wild Turkey One Hundred One mm-hmm. for that one bottle right there. You really could, and though. still have some change left over for sure. Some Traverse City. You can get it. You can get one Traverse City and one Evan Williams. Five <laughs> bottles of Evan uh, um, Evan Williams bottle and bond. Five. <laughs> Five. <laughs> Say it. One, two, three, four. Fear. What the fuck is Dave Chappelle saying? Fear. One, two, three, four. Fear. Shout out to Dave Chappelle for getting your money, bro. Bro, Dave Chappelle got his money back for sure, dog. So not y'all can y'all can start back watching the Chappelle show. All what right. y'all did yesterday? So for real. I was on it then. It, well, it came on Comedy Central, so I, I never, was able to watch it. Mm. I never stopped. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Dave. I never stopped. Yeah, he still listen to R. Kelly, too. On that <laughs> yes, I do, nigga. Stepping in the name of love yeah. last night, nigga. And OJ, OJ highlights, too. So. I'll fuck with OJ, because OJ <laughs> ain't do it, dog. OJ know who did it. But OJ, we ain't getting into this, dude. We about to get up out of here, dog. See, about the fifth time I met OJ. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Dave Chappelle and Jizz, bro. <laughs> We up out here, man. I want to thank everybody who checked us out today, man. Again, if you don't if you don't trust our uh, you know our judgment, by all means, get you a sixty dollar bottle of Caribou Crossing if you would like. Um, I'm definitely deciding against it. You can uh, you know try that your own will, but it does look lovely on your bar though. It's a great presentation. Like as far as what it tastes like though, I'm gonna give it a, a, a hella thumbs down. What my man say? We should have more hands. <laughs> so I give you four thumbs down. <laughs> Thanks for being heavy in this conversation. Yeah. All right, we're going to get up out of here, man. Again, thank everybody for checking us out. Uh, be sure to uh, leave any comments below in the YouTube. Um, also, don't forget to follow us on the gram at Beers Bourbon Whiskey. And damn, that's good. Uh, Bourbon Guild. Uh, make sure you follow us there. Uh, leave comments. Tell us what you want to hear about, and we'll try to get on the show. Till next time, man. Everybody loves BBW, man. That's Beers Bourbon Whiskey. Again, I got my man Don in the building. All right. Angry principal holding it down. Drink what you like, how you like. My man Bo in the building. I'll say. And of course, man, it's your boy Q Lewis holding it down live from the 48205, man. Peace out, y'all.